I will do it in five minutes. I will do it in seven seconds. I've done this before. It's easy. It's not going to take me any time. This is so much better than that. And this manager doesn't do his job well, etc., etc., etc. These are some of the points that a lot of developers and professionals, I guess, are going to make. So let's just discuss this for a moment. I think one of the easiest ways to, to lose credibility as a professional is when it comes to estimates. Oftentimes, all of us will uh, be in a discussion or put in a moment in a meeting room or somewhere with a product manager, project manager, CTO, where we are asked approximately about how long do we think something's going to take. And we are very often eager to give these very optimistic estimates based on very little knowledge we have. So oftentimes, somebody's going to ask you, hey, how long is it going to take to do this? And, and, and your brain is going to isolate, it's going to create a very small world of the things that you think that you should do. And then you're going to say, yeah, that's just a API. That's just a React component. This is just a piece of UI. But what your brain is not going to tell you is all of the other things that span across multiple teams multiple people, multiple stakeholders, etc, etc, etc. So when it comes to estimates, uh, what I've seen what happened to me, at least in my career several times where I lost credibility was when I was rushing way too fast to give any estimates. How can you fight against this? The best way to fight against this and to actually be perceived and to be very professional is to say, I'm going to get back to you. So in many circumstances, of course, you will have to give a little bit of clarity about something. You can say, hey, well, based on what I've done before, this hasn't been hard and I don't think it's a massive thing, but I will need to figure out certain things and then I will get back to you. This is going to give you the time to research, to talk to other stakeholders, to talk to other people in other teams, to figure out what, what it is that they're working wrong. Because imagine you're building a feature that from your perspective, yes, you can maybe finish it, you can do a UI or an API or a service, but for that feature to be fully complete, there's a bunch of other themes there's an infrastructure team, there's the DevOps team that need to, you know, provision some resources, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when you're thinking about these features, you have to have a bigger picture always in your mind and not just think about, because if your CTO, your product manager is asking you about this, they're not asking how long this is going to be to write a form with five input fields. They're asking how long do you think it's going to take for this project to be complete. So it's tip number one, never give estimates immediately unless you're literally and directly asked, hey, I know that you will probably miss it. I know that it's hard to do it right now, but we need the most precise estimate right now. If you're ever asked this type of stuff, then take an estimate in your mind and then multiply it by two at least. This way, if you finish it sooner, it's going to be way better than promising, you know, it's going to take one minute and it takes 10 minutes. So tip number one again, don't over promise, don't make estimates or judgment calls like that. Instantly give yourself some time, buy yourself some time. Another thing that I've seen uh, a lot, especially with junior developers, and I've seen this in my interviews when I interview people, I've seen it on Twitch when I was streaming countless times, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you've been there. People are, a lot of developers uh, have strong feelings about certain technologies, and because of these strong feelings, they're eager to use uh, to describe them as worse, the best, faster, slower, more scalable, less scalable. In reality, when you ask these people, most of these people, why? Okay, why is X better than Y? They're incapable of giving an answer. Uh, for me personally, this is gonna make me lose respect towards you instantly, not because you have feelings, it's because you are behaving now as as, uh, as an emotional unit rather than a developer or software or engineer with, with facts, right? So if you want to lose credibility really fast, make statements like this. Just say some random stuff you have no idea about. You never actually, uh, you know, um, had any scaling issues. You never faced them. You never built a product even that remotely was, was having scaling issues. So if you're going to go to someone and say, oh, PHP is bad, Node.js is bad, uh, this is so much better than this. You better, better, better equip yourself with facts and experience and knowledge. Otherwise, I'm going to just ask you one question, why? And I know that you will not be able to respond properly. And of course, uh, the last tip here is 
you cannot always be right. Uh, nobody likes a person, nobody likes to work with a person, nobody's gonna come to you if you are very emotional about your code, about your opinions, about things that you're doing every day. Nobody wants to work with a person who is constantly pushing for their ideas just because they feel like that. So again, you have to equip yourself with the facts. Sometimes it's fine in life in general with your partner, with your friend, with your colleagues to simply accept, sometimes even if you're not wrong, to simply accept that you're wrong. Sometimes having this social intelligence, this emotional intelligence is gonna give you, get you very far. Sometimes, you know, if you, even if you know that you're right, but you see that this circumstance is so irrelevant and it would help this person to grow, it would help the person that's doing this to maybe pull a lesson out of that, just give up. Make a step back. You don't have to acknowledge directly I was wrong, but just say, all right, yeah, let's, let's proceed with that, that is fine. So nobody likes to work with a person that has super hard feelings, that's hard to adjust, hard to emotionally uh, accept that uh, there are other people's, there are other people's opinions as well, and that they should matter from time to time. These are the things that I mostly saw in my career uh, that can go wrong. That's, this is how people lose credibility the most. If you have any other tips, please leave them in the comments. I hope you learned something today and I wish you guys the best. Have a great one. Cheers. Bye-bye.